Hi and welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about some new options we've got for how multiplayer sessions work in terms of new players joining and new players leaving those sessions. And this is controlled in options under the main settings and right at the bottom of main settings you'll see session join method. And this session join method option here all this controls is when you are hosting a session how players will be able to join your session so if you have it set as unrestricted which it is by default that means that the way players join your session is no different to how players have always joined Velostrone multiplayer sessions which is it doesn't matter if you're racing or you're not racing or if you're just sat having a chat, whatever you're doing, players will just join indiscriminately to your session, no matter what is going on. So if you're in the middle of a race, players will join in the middle of your race, and that can cause a little bit of lag or stutter when those players join. And particularly for competition flying, where people are flying very, very tight lines or very, very close to gates in order to go the maximum speed, then when a player joins that little tiny bit of lag that happens when their quad is created and set up and they're put into the session that can be enough to cause a crash. So what we now have is the ability for the session host to decide that they don't actually want to allow players to join during the confines of a race. So what this means is that when players try to join a session they will only be joined when a race ends or a race begins or when the race manager decides to join new players. So there are three options there. Two of them are automatic, which is all players finishing a race will initiate a join of any players waiting to join the session or the start of a new race will initiate all players being joined to that session who are waiting. And then the third one is the is the manual option which is if the race manager decides to press the F4 key then that will join players immediately to that session whether there is a race going on or not. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to join a session where it's running in this new restricted mode so you can see what happens. So uh, oh, one thing I sh should also point out here is um, we have here uh, in the latest patch all of the micro quads that you're likely to see. So we've got the Beta FPV 75, the B Brain Brushless, the Crazy Bee, the Mobular 6, the Meteor, and the Tiny Hawk. So those will all be in the coming patch. You can see all those here. And I'm going to drop into this session with the little B Brain Brushless. So the session should pop up here. There we go, we can see it's a micro class session uh, on Grow's House Party in the house, hosted by Ashlap, which is my, lash, my laptop. So if I join that session, what you see is it says, waiting to join, you'll join the session once the current race is finished or when the race manager manually adds new players. And actually, if the race manager starts a new race, you would also join. And you can see here, in the chat it says Ash waiting to join so the race manager will see that message and so will all the other players they will see that you're waiting to join but you haven't actually joined yet now you can whilst you're in this kind of limbo state you can type to other players like that and other players can type back to you I use my laptop here so you can chat and you can tell the race manager that you're there waiting and that kind of stuff but you can't actually fly, you can't do anything, you can't look around, you can't press the space bar to access other quads, you can't spectate the race, you, there's very very little you can do uh, in here apart from change how your quad would be set up, you can, you can do a bit of this, uh, that works, um, you can do a bit of, uh, you can try to go to advanced drone setup but it won't let you in there, um, you can save the map, you can look at the leaderboard if you really want to, um, you can see the players in session and there's another change here as well which is in the new patch for players in session you can actually see what people are flying so you can see that I'm flying a Crazy Bee Micro on my laptop 
but I'm flying the B brain um, to join this session. So that's also something new that you won't have seen before. Um, you can show and hide the chat, you can play some music, you know, all this kind of stuff, look at the keyboard shortcuts if you really want to, or leave the session. Um, but that's all you can do. You, you can do no more than that. Now if somebody's flying, so if I just quickly go on my other machine here and just uh, fly a little bit, you can see other people who are flying, as you can see there. But you can't... Uh, switch to their FPV view or spectate mode or anything like that. If they just happen to pass in front of this static camera you'll see them but otherwise you won't. Now if the race manager was to start a race now or if a race was running and a race ended then I would automatically join or the race manager which is what I'm going to do in this instance could decide that it's a good point to join new players and they could hit their F4 key and if you do that which I'll do now Ready to race. you can see it puts the message that race manager enable player join and I join the session so I'm now in the session and now I can fly if I want to so the whole point of this is to stop that problem of players joining during a race and interrupting the flow of the race or causing somebody to crash because of the little tiny bit of lag that happens when that occurs. Now, if if you have, so say I have my sessions set to unrestricted and I've joined a session that is restricted and that race manager leaves, then the session remains restricted. So how the session was opened is how the session continues to run. So it doesn't matter if you go through several race managers, the session will continue to be a restricted session until such time as everyone leaves. So that is uh, something else to be aware of, that the, the way the session is run is permanent. Whoever opens it, if they open it as a restricted session, session that stops people joining during races, then it will stay that way for the duration of the session, no matter who the race manager is. If you as a manager open a new session and you have unrestricted set then players will join that session as they would normally and if you pass race manager to another race manager who has restricted as their session type it won't change it will still stay as an unrestricted session as it should so uh, that's something else just to to be aware of okay so i mean that's probably all i wanted to say about this um we've tested it quite a lot in beta there is absolutely zero lag when players join the session during a race and there is absolutely zero lag when players leave the session during a race as well. So all of that problem has gone with restricted sessions. The only thing I would say about this new functionality is although we have tested it in beta and it's worked very very well in beta it was a really big complicated piece of code to produce and there is the possibility there may be some problems that we didn't find with it and that is why we have added it as an option there was an argument in beta for making it uh, the the default and that you could no longer run unrestricted sessions but in the end we decided that actually if people are running restricted sessions and they run into problems then the easy way out of that is just to turn it off and let us know and we'll look at it but i I think it'll be fine if for the sessions that we ran in beta it worked really well um, we didn't really hit any huge issues with it so I'm expecting it to to all be okay when we put it live uh, in the coming patch okay so uh, that's all I want to say about this and I'll see you on the next video